welcome back. In stage two, we're going to cover creating our AWS infrastructure. We're going to set up our repository, then create an ECS cluster, set up an initial task definition and service. We will register the task definition to the service. In part one, we're going to create our AWS repository and ECS cluster. If you haven't yet signed up for an AWS account, then there's a YouTube tutorial by AWS that takes you through the setup process. It's really easy. And the good thing about AWS is that it offers free tier services. So a lot of the services that they offer, you can try out for free for the first year. So head along to my description below where you'll find a link to how to set up an AWS account. Okay, so let's set up a repository and a cluster. I'm gonna head along to services and we're gonna head along to our Elastic Container Service. Inside here, I'm gonna select repositories and we're gonna create a new repository. Our repository name is going to be Demo Web API. Select Next. And here it's given us some really handy command lines that we can use inside our Bitbucket pipelines. We're not going to do anything else other than select Done for now. That's our repository set up. Really easy. Step two is we're going to create our cluster. So head along to Clusters, Create Cluster. We're going to select the EC2 Linux Plus Networking Options and select next. We're going to call our cluster demo web API and we're going to select our instance type of T2 micro. We're going to keep this really easy um, and that's, that's the only options we select. We're going to create a new role for the container instance IAM role and we'll select create. Now what this is doing is setting up all of our stuff that we need in order to run our cluster. And that's our cluster created. So now we can say view clusters and we can see that our cluster has been created. Okay, so to quickly recap, we set up our repository in AWS. This is going to allow us to store our built Docker images. We then set up our cluster. We use the EC2 Linux plus networking template to create our cluster. Using templates allows us to bypass a lot of the setup, but it does come with a warning. You don't really know what is being set up behind the scenes. So if you have the opportunity to set the cluster up without using a template, I'd say go for it. The template is basically creating uh, the cluster, VPC endpoints, subnets, and auto-scaling group with Linux AMI. So again, it's doing a lot behind the scenes and it's worth actually knowing what is going on when you create these yourself. That concludes stage two, part one. Stay tuned for stage two, part two, where we'll create our initial task definition and service.